Please don't. Please don't have another Mega Rain. Let it resolve. Yes! Okay. Good. I realized that I should maybe be scared of parlay, and so that's why. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Viego Yetis. That's going to be our next meme tier Monday deck. Uh, this is going to be a deck that's built around putting big Yetis in play. They're going to be 5-5s, five and they will be big units that uh, whenever they die, they will help level up our Viego pretty fast. And of course, we'll have the Abominable Guardian, so we can get some real aggressive starts if we can get like two Yetis in, fa in fast with the Abominable Guardian coming into play for free. And we'll have some different ways to kill them. We'll have Glimpse Beyond, Mask Mother. We can also give them Ephemeral with Song of the Isles and Mark of the Isles. Um, so that's that's kind of the plan. And like each time something dies, then we get an Encroaching Mist in play. And of course, we'll have the Encroaching Mist with the Camivore and Soldiers and the Hydra Vines as well. Should be pretty cool. They'll also be big attackers where we're going to use like Avalanche to clear out small blockers and then have the big attackers do a lot of damage. One Entreat to help us find Viego. Um, one Stalking Shadows to get more Yetis. And that's going to be the deck. So cool looking deck here submitted by a viewer. We're going to go play our five games in normal with it being Meme Tier Monday. And let's let's try this out with Viego Yetis. <laughs> Chunky boy. Alright, Sejuani Gangplank. First deck. Hopefully some five fives do some good blocking. A Yeti is as big as a Gangplank and almost as big as a Sejuani. I'm going to send these all back. Yeah. I mean, Vile Feast is okay. But Vile Feast probably doesn't kill very much of their stuff. And then it can just get... Um, uh, make it rain. And get make it rained away. Okay, so next round, Tall Tales. Have two Yetis. And then Dub's Abominable Guardian coming in. Oh no. That's not good. That's not good, because now they they just need one damage thing for Tall Tales. Please don't. Please don't have another Mega Rain. Let it resolve. Yes! Okay. Good. I realize that I should maybe be scared of Parlay, and so that's why. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. I mean... Haha! <laughs> there we go! Got him. I wasn't sure whether or not to attack with the 1-1. One -one. That's what I was thinking about. <laughs> Double Abominable Guardian. Yeah, I don't, I don't expect it to work out that well ever again, but that was awesome. That was like the first time that I've done that. I've played some different Yeti decks. If we can get some big encroaching mist, just giving the lifesteal to some big encroaching mist could also be pretty awesome. Get me a sweet bun. Heightens the senses. Hmm. Okay, okay. The one sprint for each crab I saw today. Alright, this can maybe take out both of those. Almost got it. I'll show you how it's done. Alright, Camavore and Soldier time. The Avalanche is pretty interesting too. I, I could have seen just passing. But this will, you know, maybe force my opponent my opponent to go more wide 
and then we'll have the avalanche for after they go wine. Okay. Oper operation make them go wide commence. We got the second avalanche too. Let's go and use this. Come on, Rip. We're down to just three cards. Maybe a Viego this round. Whoa, that's an aggressive concussive palm instead of just taking three damage. Would you look at this place? All right, never mind. I'm gonna use this. I guess I could have glimpsed me on first. That probably would have made sense. I was thinking to do the fading icon to have the prey get that thing, but maybe we should use glimpse me on. No, this is good. Doesn't die to Merciless Hunter. Yeah. Alright, gonna be just trying to level up Viego. So having stuff die is good. Your attack is obvious. Sure. Sure. These old eyes still see far and clear. Cool. Don't want to die? Don't do terrible things. This is justice. Feel pretty good about just two cards in hand. Look out for reavers. Obey your king. Oh, I'll just do this block. We're down to just one card left. We're at 10 out of 20. Or 20, I mean, that's... All will be consumed by the black mist. Yeah, their hand hasn't been too good. They've just kind of wasted a couple barrier heals. They, they just kind of don't have anything going on right now. That will likely be game. Alright. 2-0 and for Viego Yeti. Very good. Sivir Zed. All right, now this is going to be a tough one. Let's see how we do. All right, can we get some more Yetis? All right, maybe actually Mulligan the Guardian. Because Sentry Fading Icon are good blockers early. And I like the Entreat to find Viego. I, I could definitely see just Mulliganing the Entreat, though, but it's good to have Viego, I think. Okay. It's a weird looking hand. <laughs> That's for sure. It's a very weird looking hand. Would 
you look at this place? Nothing is. Just ask you you want to trade? Trade these? In Avarosa's name. Trade these? I don't think they wanted to trade. I am the blade in the darkness. So what I'm worried about with going avalanche is they just go, you know, like a, a shape stone, something like that, like they use pump spell, and then they get like a good attacks with Zed. The trap is set. And do a ton of damage to me and level up their Zed. Wow. That seems like a little bit of a surprise, right? Yep, there's the shape stone. So that would have been 12 damage going to my Nexus. That would have been bad. Down to ten. We're out racing them. I know what I'm worth. Correct. If correct. Um if you song of the isles and then mass mother, mass mother will get the lifesteal fearsome, which I think it already has fearsome anyway, but it will it will not get the ephemeral. Correct. She waits for me beyond the mist, my queen. They knew about the Viego in hand because I played the Entreat earlier. So they knew that I had Viego. Yuck. So I'm, I'm blocking the 3 2. It's just what am I blocking with? I guess with. with the 5 5? Guess with the five five. You yes, you do. Hmm. I hear her calling for me. I am embrace the shadow. Alright, so Tall Tales leaves me with five mana. Enough for Avaros and Sentry and Glimpse Beyond. You can see the Debastian border from here. Out here, you're moving or you're dead. Could also Song of the Isle, the Sentry. So I put an encroaching miss into play on their round for a blocker. Now let's attack with these. Force them to do some blocking. How did that move go? Punish restraint. I will not be made to wait. Okay. Don't look twice. I go 
out where the trouble is. It's never too far. We'll see if this play works out. So what I'm doing here is having this die. So like at the end of the round, so I can get the encroaching mist to be just another blocker while going towards leveling up Viego and still being able to get another encroaching shadow blocker now. If I use Mass Mother, then it, you know they run out of room. I'm gonna use this. That will just replace itself. Now it doesn't have vulnerable. They don't have that ability to make my blocks for me. Only one card over there. I'm feeling pretty good about it, but there, it can obviously be super scary if, if it's like double attack thing and and they just make like sever you know like double attack anything like that or. Cool. Yeah, like ghost or double attack either of those. Users, but... All right, very good. It was not that. And so Viego's gonna take over. Yeah, Viego's kind of weird like that. How you can get the, you know, round to end your ephemeral thing dies, so therefore encroaching mist comes out. But then also next round you get to encroaching mist again. Kind of weird like that. Callista Viego with Demacia. This is probably. A, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to let's try to get the Yetis. I don't know this could be wrong, but this is probably gonna be a Cythria deck. Okay, we're close. We just need another Yeti card. We we're close. I can Tall Tales and put the Enraged Yeti on top of my deck, and then Stalking Shadows and grab two Enraged Yetis. But the thing is, is one will have... Um, one will be Ephemeral, and so I, you just can't ever Abominable Guardian with one Ephemeral. they wanted to do. Probably. Mm. They walked around. Okay, I'm going to have them waste their round. She waits for me beyond the mist, my queen. I do this for her, for us. I can play that card too. <sighs> Man, that card's good. Um, I don't have like a real good Sun Disc deck right now. Yeah, no, not too surprising there. Okay, we're gonna have to. Uh, Entomb something, probably. This does look kind of bad with like their encroaching mist, like dying round end with the Callista and everything like that. This looks kind of bad. Of 
Cool attack. I like it. This will level up my Viego. Alright, so what are they planning on doing? Because my Viego's leveled up. We are in the driver's seat now. I fight for the fallen. My sword is yours to command. Play, draw a Yeti. Yeah. I mean, I guess I could play something. Uh, what to play? Mm -hmm. I'll do this. Nice. Alright, so that's going to be 12 power. I think I have to just vengeance this Viego. Well, okay. I don't have to vengeance the Viego. I could keep them from drawing two. Maybe I just do that. Maybe I just keep them from drawing two. Yeah, maybe I just do I that. Hear her calling for me. And so, what? Fear. Entomb that thing? Just hold on to vengeance. Alright, let's kill their Viego. Yeah. It's always good. We make an encroaching miss for killing the Viego, and then we make an encroaching miss with this Hydrovine. Um, I can also just pass still. Nah, we'll attack. Whoa. So yeah, if they don't play anything better, we get to steal their Hydrovine at round start. Well, that worked out well. Alright, GG's! Viego, leveling up your Viego wins the Viego Mirror. I think they regretted that attack of attacking in with their encroaching miss and letting me block with my 3-3s, three and I think they regret that now. Thresh Nasus. Kicking it old school. We'll have our new Shadow Isle champion. V Thresh Nasus. Alright, Mask Mother. No, we don't really need Mask Mother. Alright, so we'll just start with the Fading Icon. Cool, cool. Alright, good curve. Of early stuff. Trapper. Yeah, I think we leave the Trapper over the Soldier. Soldier's probably better on a blocking round. Gotcha. Get that encroaching miss for blocking purposes. I should have just attacked with my 3 1 first, shouldn't I? Yeah, probably. Just see if they do that trade and then go Trapper. I don't really want to trade Trapper and Butcher, but I guess it's not the worst, either. Clears up space. I am going to need space. But it gives them a uh, Slay for Nasus. I 
Yeah, let's draw two. Abominable Guardian. Nope. And no Viego. Really want to see Viego. Well, I guess we'll just get another 5-5. Five five. No surprise there. That sounds good. Um. Yay, Viego. Thresh is going to level up pretty fast. Like, if I play Camerborn Soldier, it just levels up. But even just, like, with Encroaching Mist, it's going to level up. This thing's going to level up pretty fast. Alright, so just let it level up, because it's, it's just going to level up anyway. We might as well just let it level up. I'm worried about Black Spear. If I play Viego, they have Black Spear. I'm worried about that. Maybe I don't play Diego right now. We know they either have a Thresh or a Nasus, like so they could have like the the box, but the box wouldn't kill Diego. But Black Spear would have killed Diego. And right now the Diego is really the only thing I got going on. I can't let it die that easily. If they have another Nasus and they have the Siphoning Strike, that's going to be a problem. The Song of the Isles have not... Like, they've been the weak part of our deck. Unfortunately, we've got a couple of them here. They've been the weak part of our deck. For sure. Heal. Life just gonna die to atrocity. I if they have atrocity, they're gonna be killing me anyway. Like they're gonna be able to get these to, to twenty very fast. She waits for me beyond the mist, my queen. So we're dead to most everything. They did have the third Nasus. We're dead to that. That is included in the most everything that we're dead to. Another Viego. These are not good cards. <laughs> we have. Love it when they run. All right. GG's. Our streak has come to an end. So I was pretty impressed with, you know, just the Yetis and with Viego, Camavorn Soldier, Hydra Vine, that kind of stuff. Song of the Isles, 
not not playable as we saw there there those games just kind of need like maybe some other card draw or something else um you know maybe just playing more i mean our stalking shadows missed that was fairly unlucky but i don't know more more sentry or or something something you know, like i could see playing like the four one like instead of that probably want to just play like that same four one that they have that can just slay and right here spirit leech they can just kill an ally draw two Probably want something like that. Um, I know it is like healing our Nexus, but it's just not a very good way to heal the Nexus. I've always been very happy with like Spirit Journey, I think, in these Viego decks, because you can use Spirit Journey to save your Viego, or you you know, you can kill something else. Like Spirit Journey usually does a lot of stuff and it can help your uh, Viego level up. It's great with Hydrovine. You can see playing a couple of those. Yeah, or Babbling Babbling Beard to draw your Yetis and Viego or Hydrovine. That could be kind of cool, too. So, I don't know. There's, um, yeah. Unfortunately, Song of the Isles, just, it's just not very good. It's not. But that's all right. That's all right. But, yeah, I could, I think, I think I could see playing some stuff like that. So, maybe if we, if we take those out and then uh, the Stalking Shadows also doesn't, yeah, let's, let's get rid of the Stalking Shadows. You know, we saw that we missed there uh, with that. You just don't really need it. All right, so if you take those cards out, you have uh, three slots, and you can get, like, one Spirit Journey in here and Bjerg or Spirit Leech. I kind of like the Spirit Leech. Another way to, like, kill your own units. Yeah, let's get one Spirit Journey, one Spirit Leech. Maybe another, you know, like, and then another one of those, probably. Maybe just another Spirit Leech. Or Vile Feast. I think it's like Sivir Zed. Could be a Three Sisters. Could be a second one of those. Or you could just play an Atrocity. Tell finish out games. There's there's a lot of options to play. A Rekindler to bring back Viego. Another Hydrovine. Hydrovine is incredible. Could just play a third one of those. So lot, lots of options. I... I I just, I'm not very happy with the Song of the Isles <laughs> or the Stalking Shadows. So I want to get rid of those. I want to be able to draw a couple of cards and kill an ally. So I want the Spirit Leech to be able to do that. And then Spirit Journey just does a lot of random stuff. I like it a lot. So let's get that. But then the last card, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what what to play. Babbling Bjerg's an option, as we talked about. Lots and lots and lots of options. So kind of whatever you want to play. I think what I would do if it was me would be playing get a miss call in here. Maybe another entreat to just make sure you're drawing your Viegos because of how important Viego is. I could see doing that. I'd get Troll Chain in here. There we go. Troll Chain's always good. Troll Chain can protect Viego, protect Yetis, can do whatever. Troll Chain's good. Okay, so there we go. Let's get those three one-ofs in there. All right, but that's Viego Yetis. Very good. Um, yeah, very, very good there. Yeah, Chronicler is really good with Viego as well. You go Chronicler. Spirit Journey is basically just, you know, spell version of Chronicler to, to help save Viego and just do other stuff. But yeah, Chronicler works great with the Camelvoran Soldier. I don't really want Chronicler Trapper because you do, you do kind of get to the point of the game like when you're Viegoing, you don't want to put more Yetis on top because you don't want to just draw Yetis at that point of the game. But Chronicler with Sentry is good. So you can definitely go Chronicler of Ruin as well. All right, but that's going to be it here for Viego Yetis. So those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and feel free to leave those comments and let me know what you think of the deck if you try it out yourself. Let me know what you think of these uh, one-ofs that I want to put in here with the Troll Chant, Spirit Leech, Spirit Journey. And uh, if you got other ideas for improving the deck, feel free to put them in the chat. But that's going to be it here for Viego Yeti. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.